to look at some of the new reports available in MPanel FEA, we're going to look at this uh, simple model of a hyper type sail fixed between two wall plates described by these two 3D polys with a cable edge running between them. This model of course is simply described in the FEA and I've got some, some results from load case 1 and you can see first of all that we have a new style for the uh, report selection or result uh, plot selection and it's broken down into shapes, reactions in XYZ, reactions in XY, the membrane stress, the cable tension and the reserve factors. And each of these is expandable. The uh, plots that you'll have been familiar with before, the node uh, reactions, the sum of the reactions and the p-list reactions. Um, we can now in addition plot out for any polylines that were in the original uh, model. So here's one polyline, there's another polyline. We can plot out the reactions for those individual polylines. So if I plot out these poly reactions, and I'll both plot and write the data, and this is for uh, a load case. We can see that for each individual polyline, the uh, the reaction line, that's a vector line showing the direction of the reaction, the reaction is the opposite to the force, is shown, and in addition the actual value of the reaction is shown as well as its x, y and z uh, components. In many situations where this was, for instance, a, a wall plate, uh, we wouldn't actually be concerned about the vertical component of the reaction because that would be absorbed quite easily by the wall. We'd be concerned about just the X and Y components of the reactions, that is the overturning force, and we would achieve that plot by plotting the reactions X, Y instead of the reactions X, Y and Z. Another new plot is the distributed reaction along the polyline. And so here for XYZ I'll plot out the uh, distributed reaction and also write the uh, data in. And if we look at the, the values, the values are in, uh, we're in uh, imperial units here, so this is pounds per inch. If you're working in metric then it would be newtons per meter or uh, kilograms force per meter. And we can see that the, the values are 140 pounds per inch, that's the distributed load being placed on that wall plate or on that polyline. Of course where the cable comes in there is a significant increase in load and since this is a point load it can't really be regarded as a as a uh, distributed load so so this value could be treated with some suspicion but the values um, in the middle of the uh, or along the length of the polyline uh, would be would be the correct distributed load now we've always been able to of course plot out the cable tension I'll plot out the cable tension for this uh, load case just here and during load cases, because of the transfer from the uh, membrane uh, into the into the cable tension, it's quite uh, quite common to get a cable tension that varies across the length of the cable. For some situations, it's useful to be able to have instead the average cable tension, and we can now plot that out as an additional plot. And so now we have an average value for the for each individual recognized uh, cable, that is, for each cable which is recognized in the um, cable and links as a group of links making up a cable. And this is a useful uh, a figure uh, to be able to report 
However, we do need a little bit of care in using it because, of course, the the, the value of the average cable tension will uh, typically be a little less than the maximum cable tension shown um, in the in the full cable uh, report. These are, these values are also, of course, available in the um, raw data. So if I go to my code case uh, one results and go down to for instance the um, link tension average here are the uh, cable link average cable tensions and if I looked on the um, reaction sum of reactions I would find the sum of reactions for the whole model for any P lists that I've defined and for individual polys. Each of these sum of reactions reports includes the reactions in the XY and the reactions in XYZ, in other words the, the total uh, sum of reactions.